Hey Haunters, it's Liam. Just uh, wanted to give you guys a quick update on my skeleton dropper. Uh, just going to show you what it looks like. I finally got it working, so it's about time to mount my skeleton. But I uh, wanted to show it to you guys before I paint it and before I mount the skeleton so you can uh, see how to build it. It's super easy. Um, even if you've never worked with pneumatics, this is like probably one of the easiest things you can do, quite honestly. So here's what I've got. So I showed you guys that aluminum bar uh, armature that I built that's going to hold the skeleton. Um, so I put that together, just used some small bolts to put it together. Got a uh, just a basic gate hinge on the bottom of a piece of wood, just a basic 1x4. And then I have a an air uh, pneumatic uh, solenoid, <laughs> that's what it's called. Anyway, um, I've got my solenoid mounted uh, on the wood. I'm actually looking at it, I probably need to move it up because uh, it looks like one of the bolts is hitting it, but um, pretty straightforward. It's a, a three-way solenoid. Uh, I think that's what this one is anyway. Um, I got it on eBay for like 17 bucks, I think. Um, it's from China, but it uh, works fine so far. Um, it's 12 volt DC, so I can power it from my, uh, my prop controller. It's really easy. Uh, on the back, I've got my cylinder. I can't remember if I showed you guys the cylinder uh, last time or not. So uh, this is probably more like, positive that this is more cylinder than it needs, that it's what I had lying around, so it's what I used. Um, basically have a piece of paracord going over through a pulley and then through the aluminum bar, uh, and that's what drops it. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. Um, if you guys have any questions, be sure and let me know uh, in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, it is not going to look this janky. I just had it mounted to this thing uh, for testing purposes. Um, it will be mounted on one of my wall panels, uh, which I will actually show you later tonight because they're pretty cool. So um, again, this is what it looks like. There's the cylinder. <clears throat> just have the paracord between. Uh, it's tied off and put between two washers. Um, I don't know, I'll go around the front again so you can see it. Got my solenoid, got the gate hinge, and then just the aluminum armature. Um, so I might recommend thicker aluminum. This is just like uh, one inch by not a whole lot. <laughs> I'm super accurate today. Anyway, uh, I think it's going to give it some kind of cool like <laughs> movement in general. Um, so we'll see. I might, I might need something a little heavier. If I remake this, I might do something heavier, but I don't think you necessarily need it. Um, also, something else I'm going to do that I haven't yet, I'm going to add another piece of paracord for safety. Um, just in case that first piece fails, I'm just going to kind of have a second uh, safety piece uh, not attached to the cylinder, just connected to the wood. So let me take a step back uh, so you can see the whole thing and you can see my messy garage. But I guess it is the season for messy garages. So here you go. And that's it. So pretty straightforward. Um, I'll show you on the back, actually. We'll just take a walk around, take a look at what the cylinder does. So there's the cylinder. Oops, sorry. So yeah, pretty basic. I mean, there's really like no mounting you need to do. Um, nothing really complex about this. So, uh, again, you know, for you pneumatic newbies, this might be a good first project. Um, knowing what I know now, I could probably throw this together in, you know, 30 minutes maybe. It's really basic. I might even make a second one. We'll see. Um, but thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you're all having a good week. Talk to you soon. Bye.